the, governor, the gentleman on the right-hand side of the screen is Mike Van Levy. He is the governor of Alaska. Governor, was this a good deal for Alaska? You only got three drilling pads instead of five and huge restrictions on millions of acres in Alaska. Are you happy with this deal? Oh, Stuart, we're, we're, we're glad this was finally approved, but um, to use the analogy of the, 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 the speaker you just had before, this is like getting one of the kids and the rest of the family, the car, the house, the farm, go to the other side of the uh, divorce. So uh, it, it, was a, it was a steep price to pay, and that steep price is probably going to manis manifest itself over time if it's to hold, meaning 16 million acres is off the table. Willow's only 500, uh, 500 acres in terms of the pads, and so... And that also includes uh, uh, offshore in the Arctic. So we'll, we'll see if that holds. If that holds, that means that uh, the news is tightening around Alaska in terms of it being a uh, resource-producing state, especially oil. When you say it, we'll see if that holds, is there any chance that you could move up to five pads instead of three? I don't know if uh, you know. I don't know if five pads uh, will happen. But what I mean, hold is I don't know what authority the president has to take all this stuff off the table. I mean, we're trying to uh, follow this and figure out if there's some uh, some law he's following. Is it is it part of his a lot of executive orders, or is it another situation like Anwar, which was a violation of the 2017 law that we're in litigation over? So. Just because an individual says they can do something doesn't mean they have the authority to do it. So we're, we're looking into it. If there was a future Republican administration, is it possible that all kinds of things would be opened up in Alaska and you'd be allowed to do you, what you, you want to do? You can only hope and pray. So I, I would okay. say, I would say um, uh, for example, under the Trump administration, every conversation I had with President Trump about Alaska was, what can we do for Alaska? And everything was headed in the right direction in terms of opportunity. You know, again, Stuart, you and I have talked about this. What doesn't make sense about this, uh, this whole approach is if you don't do it here, there's this belief amongst the extreme environmentalists that are, um, uh, were behind Biden. I don't know if they still are. But that if you don't do it here, that's it. We took care of the issue. It doesn't happen anywhere. It goes overseas. The yeah, same exactly. amount of uh, exactly. CO2 is going to be admitted, uh, either whether it's Venezuelan oil or Alaskan yeah. oil. Yeah, and it's filthy oil coming out of Venezuela. It's the heaviest stuff. It's like tar, for heaven's sake. And they want that as opposed to your stuff? Ridiculous. I've got to ask Not you about Not to mention this. that uh, you're propping up a dictator, too. Oh, so, yes. oh, that, oh, sorry, I forgot that, sir. You're right. Uh, Alaska's working age population, I'm told, has been down for each of the last 10 years. 5.4% loss in working age adults, 18 to 64, 2013 to 2021. How do you get people to stay and work in Alaska? Well, again, it's all about opportunity. This may be a, a small opportunity for folks to want to stay here or come up and work, but there was a time, uh, you know, in the 70s and 80s, Stuart, where people were coming to Alaska by the thousands because it was tremendous opportunity with the, uh, the pipeline uh, gearing up, the, Alaska, the oil pipeline we're talking about, and other, other plays, other uh, mining plays, and uh, the Tongass National Forest was still a logging force where you could get timber from, but... That's all changed. That, that, that started changing during the Clinton administration. And so, you know, when I refer to the news tightening, it's uh, every year it seems to be, there's more and more actions coming from the federal government, especially under uh, Democratic administrations. And so, yeah. w w you know, we said 2024 is going to be a, a very important election for this country and especially for Alaska. It certainly is. Mike Dunleavy, governor of Alaska. Thanks for joining us, sir. Always appreciate it. Thanks very Thanks, much. Sir. You got it.